In a move that will redefine Australia's history, the National Archives will today release hundreds of letters between the Queen and former Governor-General Sir John Kerr. Here's Nine political editor Chris Yulman. Well may we say God save the Queen. God save the Queen. Because nothing will save the Governor-General. 45 years since Gough Whitlam's words on the steps of Old Parliament House were etched into history, a missing chapter will be added on how the country's greatest political crisis unfolded. Political sensation in the national capital. The Prime Minister, Mr Whitlam, has been sacked. The opposition leader, Mr Fraser, is the new Prime Minister of Australia. For a decade, Whitlam biographer Professor Jenny Hocking has been fighting to have the palace letters released. They include more than 200 exchanges between the Queen and Sir John Kerr and will show how much of a hand Her Majesty had in the 1975 dismissal. In May, the High Court of Australia ruled in Professor Hocking's favour. It's a great decision for transparency and for the right to know. It's a story that has been absolutely clouded in secrecy, uh, in distortion. After almost half a century of intrigue, the Royal Mail is about to arrive. And Chris joins us now from Canberra. Chris, the Royal Mail, what are we going to see? <laughs> Well, that's precisely what we're all waiting for, you know. If you're a constitutional lawyer, these will be explosive revelations for everyone else. Well, I guess it depends on how you see Australia's history. But finally, we will know what the palace knew, what the Queen knew about the dismissal of an Australian Prime Minister. An extraordinary event on November 11, 1975. I remember exactly where I was, Carl. I was in Year 9. I was a 15-year-old and oh, someone told by. me in the school corridor. <laughs> and uh, the whole place emptied out. We went home. There was actually a feeling that there might be violence on the streets of Australia wow. because of this. So it was an enormous deal at the time. My goodness. I mean, what's going to be really interesting with these letters? We know there's more than 200 between the pair, but I think 95 of them were written by the Queen. That kind of suggests that she knew more about the dismissal than, than she has previously um, alluded to. Well, the question I want to know, the answer to is, did the palace know, did the Queen know or endorse or advise on the dismissal of an Australian Prime Minister? Now, this was the only time in Australian history. Her Majesty has never done it. The last time a king did it in the UK was back in the 1830s. It's only happened twice in Australian history with a New South Wales Premier and a, an Australian Prime Minister. And, of course, the whole idea of a Governor-General is that he acts in concert with his Prime Minister. He should be talking to his Prime Minister about what he's going to do. He doesn't act alone. It was this question of, did he have reserve powers where he could act alone? Took Whitlam completely by surprise, the nation by surprise, and of course installed a new Prime Minister and ended the Whitlam government. Mm -hmm. So it caused a constitutional crisis in Australia and finally perhaps we'll have a little more light shed on what was going on behind the scenes. Chris, the thing is she's lived an awful long time and she hasn't really put that many feet wrong or foot wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so so um, do you really think there's going to be something on her? Look, uh, the Queen has shown an enor enormous amount of deafness through a, a very long period of time and I guess there are other <laughs> things on her mind now about her own family, about what's going on in the United Kingdom, which might be taking up a bit, bit of bandwidth for her. But this will be an important moment because the Governor-General acts on behalf of the Queen mm. in Australia. And if the Palace was advising on the dismissal of an Australian Prime Minister, that will be a big deal. Now, will it re re rekindle a Republican movement? I don't think so. We're always talking about that. It never seems mm. to get off the Ground, but it will be uh, it will shed a, a lot of light in Australian history and and it may well be a little black mark in the Queen's mm. notebook. We shall see. I do think we've got bigger issues to deal with at the moment than whether or not we become a republic. Perhaps. I guess you're probably <laughs> right.